If you have ever found it hard to change the behavior of others, it is probably because you are facing one of these three behavioral barriers. Psychological, physical, or social barriers. Let me give you an example on what those barriers can be. Psychological barriers are when we have to think too much. That happens when our surroundings offer us information that is way too complex. Take, for example, hospital signage. Here, hospitals use wording that is way too complex for normal people to understand. This means that we have a hard time navigating and finding our way around. And that is a psychological barrier. Physical barriers appear everywhere. Think about a situation where you're walking in the park. You have just finished drinking a coffee and you want to get rid of the plastic cup. You know that you're not supposed to throw litter, but if you can't see or find a bin, the odds that you'll throw it on the ground increases. The invisible or missing bin becomes a physical barrier to do the right thing. That is a physical barrier. The last kind of barriers are social barriers. Let's go back to the park again. If we're walking in the park and we see a bunch of litter lying in the grass, we're immediately prompt to do the same thing. Simply because we're pack animals and we copy the behavior of others. And now we're facing a social barrier. So if you're having a hard time changing the behavior of others, it is probably because you're facing one or more of these three types of barriers. And you can redesign your surroundings to overcome them.